coming to Toronto, we go back quite a few years. I was from the pioneers of the Kailo of Rechem. Before I left, Svi had come to the Kailo, and we had established the Chavrusa ship. We bonded not only in our learning, we bonded in our friendship, and it continued. I eventually left Toronto and moved here to Pine River Village. COVID came and we were chased out of the base Medrash. So whatever illusions that we had that we could only learn the base Medrash became very clear that we have to rethink what we're doing over here. And we say, well, here's a chance. We're not in the base Medrash anyway. We could learn on the telephone. We can try to learn on FaceTime. He called me up in mind to learn the Orisa program. I had not known about Orisa and he told me about it and it sounded interesting and we agreed. The Tzvitres and the Arisa program have literally changed my life. It's something that's niklat, something that's gathered into my very essence, to my very being, and it changes me. It wasn't something that was outside of us. It became very much centralized to our life. It created a tremendous mechayim. You had to do it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Shabbos is Chazara. You expect it to finish that daf three times. It's amazing that they incorporated the element of Chazorah into the learning. Because when I chaza a Rashi, or if I chaza a Gemara, I remember it. Arisa took it to the nth degree by creating a pamphlet that gave you Mara Mekaymas, that gave you kashas, gave you kashas on the sugya, and much more than anything else, at the end of every Masechta, there was a simcha. There's no more suitable name than a Raisa. Like the Zoya Kaddish says, Kudsha Brechu Yisrael, the Raisa Chadhu. And literally, with the Raisa program, we become more Chad together with the Torah and our Kaddish Baruch With the help and the Siyat of the Shmai Raisa, we should be Zoya to finish many, many, many Masechtas together with my Chavrusa Ratzvi in the spirit of what a Raisa created.